revealed, heartbreaking reason Princess Anne could not marry Andrew Parker Bowles, Andrew, who later married Camilla Shand, who then became Camilla Parker Bowles, was seen out with Anne on a number of occasions. However, their pairing was not to be, simply because Andrew is Catholic, Anne, as the daughter of Queen Elizabeth II, head of the Church of England, would not have been allowed to marry a Catholic. The 2002 Channel 4 documentary The Real Princess Anne explained that, at the time, the press were very interested in who Anne was dating and might end up marrying. The documentary narrator said, most of the press pack were far more fascinated with the company she kept and whether they could marry her off. Would it be the Olympic gold medalist Richard Mead, who shared her passion for writing, or more intriguingly, the 26-year-old Andrew Parker Bowles, not yet married to Camilla. He and Anne were often seen together, but he was a Roman Catholic, and for a royal that effectively put marriage out of the question. However, the Princess Royal may not have experienced such pushback, as the succession to the Crown Act 2013 changed the royal rules on Roman Catholics. The act removed the historical qualification of a person who married a Catholic from the line of succession and removed the requirement of those outside the first six persons in line to the throne to seek the sovereign's approval to marry. At the time of her marriage in 1973, Anne was fourth in line to the throne. However, this would also be different now, as sons no longer route rank daughters in the line of succession. After her split from Andrew, Anne went on to marry Captain Mark Phillips in 1973 while Andrew of course went on to marry Camilla the same year. While Camilla was Anglican, their wedding was a Roman Catholic ceremony. Andrew and Camilla went on to have two children, Tom born in 1974 and Laura born in 1978. The children were raised in their father's faith, Roman Catholic, particularly during the lifetime of their paternal grandmother and Parker Bowles. However, Camilla remained an Anglican her whole life and never converted to Catholicism. Laura attended St. Mary's, Shaftesbury, a Catholic girls' school in Dorset, but Tom did not attend Ample Fourth College like his father. Instead, he went to Eton College and later married outside the Catholic Church. However, Camilla and Andrew's marriage ended in separation and divorce. Camilla had a decades-long on and off affair with Prince Charles while Andrew had numerous extramarital affairs. They filed for divorce in 1994 after 21 years of marriage, citing the fact that they had been living separately for years. The divorce was finalized in March 1995 and just a year later Andrew married his longtime mistress Rosemary Pittman, who was previously married to Lt. Col. John Hugh Pittman. Andrew and Rosemary attended the wedding of Camilla and the Prince of Wales nine years later in 2005. Sadly, Rosemary died from cancer in 2010, aged 69. Meanwhile, Anne and Mark's marriage lasted 19 years before they divorced, after which Anne wasted no time in remarrying. In August 1989, Anne and Mark announced their intention to separate as their marriage had been under strain for a number of years. They were rarely seen in public together and both were romantically linked with other people. Anne had met Timothy Lawrence in early 1989 while he was serving on the Royal Yacht Britannia. While she and Mark had initially said there were no plans for divorce, they eventually did in April 1992 and Anne married Timothy in December the same year.